We can use the fact that enthalpy is a state function, and it only depends on the initial and final state, to track enthalpies and add enthalpies. So if I have a process where I don't know the enthalpy change, but I know several other processes that add up to that same change, and I know those enthalpies, well, I can add some enthalpies to get that unknown enthalpy. That process is known as an application of Hess's law. So let's just do that. Here's a process, methane burning in oxygen to give carbon dioxide and liquid water. The enthalpy for that is 890 kilojoules. Now, let's say I wanted to have the burning of methane produce gaseous water. Well, I know how to convert liquid water to gaseous water. I can look up that enthalpy. For two moles, that's 82 kilojoules. So if I add these two reactions, I get another reaction where the liquid water cancels out, and I have the burning of methane to produce carbon dioxide and gaseous water. It's the sum of these two reactions, so I can take the sum of these two enthalpies to get the enthalpy for this third reaction. Turns out to be 808 kilojoules. So burning methane to produce gaseous water releases less energy than burning methane to produce liquid water by about 80 kilojoules. We can look at that a little differently. We can look at the relative enthalpy scale. Here's methane and gaseous oxygen on the relative enthalpy scale and carbon dioxide and liquid water. If I burn them, that corresponds to a certain enthalpy. Now, liquid water and gaseous carbon dioxide is higher on the relative enthalpy scale because I have to vaporize all this liquid water. So the enthalpy of vaporization is added here and takes this final state to a higher state by the enthalpy of vaporization of water. So this transfer from methane and oxygen down to carbon dioxide and gaseous water is a lower drop in enthalpy. And I can see that H3, delta H3, the enthalpy of this transition is delta H1 and delta H2. So I can add this enthalpy and this enthalpy to get to this enthalpy. Two known steps to get to an unknown step. That's an application of Hess's law.